It was said that it couldn't be done. The only versions that were working were 1.12 and 1.7.10. But something amazing, guys, has happened. I have managed to find a version that you can do a Minecraft Skyblock server on Atenos in 1.19. Now there's a couple of plugins we're going to need. It's a bit like making a cake. Here are the plugins you're going to need. U Block Revived, World Edit for Bucket, World Guard, Multiverse Core, Multiverse Nether Portals, Vaults and Luck Perms for Permissions, primarily to give the default user skyblock.create command. So what we're going to need to do guys is come over to Atenos server. What you want to do is go over to software. Choose paper slash bucket. Now choose the version. Once again guys, we're going to be doing this in 1.19. 0.19, so choose that. Click install. Then guys, once you've got your tick, what you want to do is come down to plugins. First, search U Skyblock, right? Revived. It's going to be right here, guys. Click it and download the latest version, which is always right at the top and just click download. Wait for the gear icon to stop turning. Next, guys, we need multiverse core. Multiverse core. And you want to go for this one right here. Once again, download the latest version. Now, guys, we need world edit. And so guys, you're going to have a load of different world edits here. The one that you want is called world edit for bucket. Click that. Choose the latest version and click download. Once you have your tick, guys, we need to go ahead and get world guard. Now choose this version right here. Click it and download the latest version, which is always right at the top and click it download. Wait for the gear icon to start turning. Now that you have your tick, we want to go ahead and search for multiverse nether portal. So multiverse nether and you're going to get this one right here. Click it and click download the latest version right at the top. Next, you need Vault. Once you have this, guys, you choose the, this one right here, the Vault, and click download. Remember, the latest version right at the top. And finally, guys, Luck Perms. Choose this one right here, and once again, click download. Right, so these are the plugins that we need. Now, let's make our cake. What we want to do is come over to Sturva. If you guys are using Cracked, remember to go to Options, scroll down, and make sure the Cracked is on. Personally, I'm not going to be using Cracked, but if you are, make sure this is on. Now, go over to Server and click Start. Click Yes, I accept Eula, and click OK. So now then, guys, at least one person inside your server is going to need Op. And so I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to give the default user the ability to create an island. But the important thing here, guys, is that I'm not going to go a... F this is not a fully in-depth tutorial on how to use Luck Perms or how to use Op. This is just going to give you the basics. I've already got videos showing you how to get up and how to do luck perms. So once your server has in fact started up, go ahead and copy this. M not my one, but your one. Right click copy. And if your game is in 1.19, make sure to actually start your Minecraft in 1.19. From there, guys, I'll meet you in Minecraft and I'll show you what to do. Right, so here is the Minecraft in version 1.19. Go over to multiplayer. Click add server. Right here in server address, hold control and click V to paste in the server address. Remember guys, this is the one that was on Atenos. This is the name. So once you have that, just click done. It's going to be right at the bottom, guys. If you if it's the only server that you have, it's just going to be the only one that's here. But if you have many, it's always going to be right at the bottom. Click it and then click join server. And it would appear I've literally spawned in the water, which is there is there is absolutely nothing here. What sort of game is this? OK, that's interesting. Um, Alright, so I already have op. If you guys do not know how to get op, what you need to do is go over to your Atenos server. You want to go to console, scroll down, and then guys, what you want to do is go ahead and do op and then the name of your person. So my person is called iRadar. And then it's enter. And if you guys want to de-op the person, it's just de-op and then the same sort of thing. But now, once we have this... There we go. I am now on a sky island, which is pretty cool because I already have an island. But guys, if you do not have an island, for example, if we go back to spawn, spawn. Okay, so this is basically where everything will be. Uh, this is like the island spawn point where everyone would be once they die or something. And so guys, if you want to create a new island, what you need to do is do slash island and then uh, create. And it'll ask you to wait a few minutes and then it'll te teleport you directly to it. For me, as I already have an island, I need to do slash restart. So slash island reset, click it. And then you need to go ahead and do that again to verify and confirm it. There we go, guys. This is my island. But the issue here right now is that I can still do game mode creative, for example, which means so would the actual people. And the only way they'd actually be able to make this island is, is that they'd also need to have op, which is bad. 
So what we need to do now, guys, if you are operator and you have installed the luck pumps, remember, guys, if you have anyone else that plays, their islands will show up around yours so that you can bridge over and kill them. Anyway, so what you want to do now is type in a slash luck pumps editor and click enter. It's going to give you a link. What you want to do is click that link and click yes. Or you can choose anything you want. I'm going to use brave and click OK. Remember, I have actually explained how this works in a different video. But what you want to do is, for example, I'm just going to remove everything in here. So guys, what you're going to want to do once you are here is if you want your default person to just be able to create islands, you want to make sure you go to default in groups and then type in island dot create. There you go. It's going to be this one right here. USB dot island dot create. Click it and then click add. Now then, guys, just click apply. It's going to say saving. There you go. Now it has in fact saved and now the default player, when they join, if they're not up, the only thing that they can do is create an island. I'll show you just to prove it to you. So now then guys, if I go ahead and de-op myself, de-op, iRadar, I am no, I'm no longer a server operator. I can no longer change my game mode, but what I can do is do slash island create and island restart. And I click this one and click it again. There we go, guys. My world is now being restarted and we are going Gucci Goo. There we go, guys. My entire world has, in fact, restarted. If this video did, in fact, help you guys, do not forget to leave a like. Anyway, so guys, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.